Time for Law and Disorder. I demand a lawyer. With attorney Jeff Kaufman on 1011 WJRR. All right, Law and Disorder is brought to you by Kaufman. Hoffman and Lind Injury Attorneys, uh, if you or someone you know has been injured, however it may be, slip and fall, car accident, uh, golfing on a putting green and having a plane crash into you. Um, call, we'll get into that one in a minute with him. Get a hold of uh, Jeff Kaufman. Uh, the first question you may have is, hmm, do, do I need a lawyer for what just happened to me? He'll let you know. It's really easy to get in touch with him. Jeff. And if you don't, he'll tell you that, too. He's not going to you know, try to... you know. He'll tell you so you don't have to spend money, unnecessarily spend right. money. Uh, Jeff at whenyouneedus.com. That's his direct email. Jeff at whenyouneedus.com. Or you can do pound 546 on your cell. Or just call 407-500-JEFF. So uh, you were delayed yesterday. Obviously, the uh, your trip back from the West Coast impacted by uh, Hurricane Debbie, which was rolling through the uh, general vicinity. Uh, but you're here now. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Is that mic broken? Uh, no. Oh, he's oh, on the second mic, Pat. No, I got him. You got him. Okay. Yeah, yeah we had a little. Yeah, it's, the, it's the three parlay flight that kills you. You're having to go on three different planes to get home. That's always. Oh, great. my God. How long does it total up to uh, in the air? Nine and a half hours. Yeah. Nine oh, but days. from Vegas. How was. How was it's uh, only a four hour, four and a half. Now, well, yeah, twice as long. Comic Con, you told us last week was great. Yeah, Comic Con was fantastic. So you, know, you do that, to... then you hop over to Vegas for uh, some fun and sin. <laughs> well, normally I take the people who've been working hard with me for, for fun for and a couple sin. Days. Okay, well, yes. I, I guess you're talking about burgers and uh, and shows. Yeah, that... no, they take it easy. Vegas, yeah. Vegas is nonsense now. When people talk, oh, sin, you know, clubs. I mean, like, like it's a big deal. Vegas is nothing. Yeah. And he's not doing all that, Pat. He's no. he's uh you know chilling, doing the rewarding his his no, employees. No, I'm trying to find where my favorite burger is. I mean, that's that's when you get old, you just go, "Where's my favorite burger?" <laughs> Who's that? That's the burger guy. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, uh, we did have a story a little while ago. Uh, in, in guy in California he's at a golf course, uh, practicing on the putting green before he makes his goes out and plays around. Uh, small plane. Uh, crash lands at the country club, hits across from where he, the putting green is, skids across the road, and he's coming right at him on the putting green, and he narrowly jumped out. Of, he was okay. Had, had I showed he, him the video. Actually, ha, had he been injured, um, wh- where where does that where does a situation like that end up? Oh, it's pretty easy. It's the person who was in charge of the plane. It's like a car accident, just with with wings. Okay, so the that's pilot. The that's the pilot. The pilot, the people who did the maintenance on the plane, the reason why the plane crashed. It's like it. It's like it's like a basic car accident it's just a little more sexy it's yeah the way that works out that know? would be like the dream that's like in in for lawyers if you know a, a semi from a big company hits somebody that's bigger money if somebody that has a plane hits you that's a lot better than a car well I mean, let's say let's thank let's thank god the guy was okay you yeah know, i know i know a lot of people think when they think guys like us they're like oh you guys are salivating no i was i'm glad the guy was okay man could and, you mind could you mind you're sitting there and and he obviously got some notice. He heard something, maybe. Yeah, he heard uh, the plane sliding across yeah. the uh, the cart path. Yeah, generally when you go uh, for a round of golf, uh, being taken out by a plane doesn't uh, factor into your uh, thoughts of the day. No, I mean, the thing was no. going probably about 80 when it crossed across. So, yeah. You know, like I'm you glad, said. Glad he's okay. But, oof. Thank God he's okay. And a uh, wake-up call. I have to say props to the pilot because that's a pretty good crash landing. Yeah. You mm-hmm. can check it out, JR. Well, let's, let's hope page. a lot of the, sometimes there's issues with these pilots that you don't even get. It. Like I, I personally would have landed it at the airport, which is right next door to the golf course. I mean, you hear all the time about how people chose not to. Uh, they went up in the air when they shouldn't have. You know, a lot of these pilots don't, you know, these accidents are caused because of pilot error. You know, it was a great landing, but why did you have to land there? Mm-hmm. Oh, should you not been up there in the first place? I mean, was it a bad day? Was I mean, it that's mechanical? What they said. That's what they blamed the Kobe Bryant accident on. It was pilot error. The pilot shouldn't, shouldn't have gone up that day. I'm sure somebody said, hey, you know, you know who I am. I need to get here. And I bet there was some of that going on. They well, had some was famous pilot. people in there. It was his pilot. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's get to some of these questions. Listener questions, 22526, what do you got? When you send them, please remember, keep them brief, 22526. Um, this is a good one. Why don't they ticket people who drive with dogs in their lap, or can they? You know, like you're driving down the yeah, road. It's, and you it's, see- called, it's called careless driving. Anything you do that's reckless or care, 
reckless is a more serious version of careless, but they can write you a ticket for it. Absolutely, a police officer guy. They write you a ticket for tint. Of course, they can write you a ticket because you, you've got a dog in your lap. I do, saw do you one know, yesterday. Do you know what I keep seeing more and more these days? Headphones in while you're driving. Yeah, yeah. that's also... AirPods. A, that's also it, yeah. But here's the thing. that The problem you have is this. You're not supposed to be holding your phone, and you got to hope that it pairs with the phone. You know, is there a difference between you, you have it... Your, and there's no sound ordinance anymore. So you can have that thing cranked as loud as mm-hmm. you want. So whatever's keeping you from not hearing, whether it be earbuds or something else like that, you know, at least it's better than him texting or sitting on his phone. True, but I, I I'm shocked with that too, Pat. I see it all the time, whether it be earbuds or AirPods or whatever. I saw and a guy with a full headset, headset, headset. regular over the ear headphones, and I'm like, because I was told by does, an does that officer. bother you more than him sitting there looking at his phone texting? It's just really, I mean, same thing. It's, no, it's a huge I, no, no, it's not the same thing. Sorry, uh, it bugs me though. Both yeah. of them bug me. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, at. and the worst part about it is, you know, the earbuds thing. It is, it is illegal to do it. So guys, don't do it. And even if you say, oh, well, I kept it really turned down. I, I got pulled over what, years and years ago driving my dad's car when my car broke I mean, most down. Most isn't for music. It's so that they can talk, and that's the whole idea of being hands-free. No, I get I get, mm-hmm. I get that. But, you know. but the, the, head, the, the big head rockers. Right, that's what, right. That's exactly. All, that thing. All right, this one's uh, uh, getting a little bit on the long side, uh, and it's deep, okay? You're in, such an enabler. You had four and a half sentences. It's an enabler. That's a little long. Okay. If, if, in preparation for my next phase in business, how much of the exposure and damages occurred can one consider being sued for? I guess they're just trying a lot, to prep. A lot. If you, if you have a business that does no money and it's no big deal, you don't have to set up a corporation. But if you're, you know, the point of setting up a corporation is so that they can only go after the assets of the business and they can't go after you. But don't, don't think that if you do something really out, outlandish and steal and do all that stuff, they can't because they have a term called piercing the corporate veil, which means that you did something so egregious and so wrong that you are not going to get the protections of an LLC and Inc. or something or whatever thing you put at the end of it. I wanted to bring this up, had a conversation with a neighbor over the weekend, and um, she told us that her and her husband bought umbrella insurance, an umbrella policy. Yeah, um, yeah. extra. Th- that is very, apparently very reasonable to purchase one of these policies, and the layer of added protection that it provides to yeah. somebody, an individual or a family million, over, million, o- yeah. over the home and or uh, auto insurance in addition. Do you, thoughts on, on that as I a, think, as I a think strategy? It's fantastic. I think it's the same thing I tell people about uninsured motorists. You don't realize what's going on, people. The, I can't tell you how sad it is when somebody gets calls me up and goes, well, it wasn't my fault. I agree with you. But the guy wasn't insured. They didn't have money. Mm-hmm. And insurance, po- and these umbrella policies are good to protect people that you happen to hurt. And they can also be sometimes used to benefit yourself. How expensive, though? Uh, uh, under $1,000 for a million dollars worth of coverage. I have one. I just, I did. I don't remember what it was under, paid for. Under a th- How did you know to, it was your wife, no, right? Cause, no, your wife you, did it? When you get insurance. No, actually, I did. You did yeah. it. Listen, you did it. When you get insurance, guys, how do you normally do it? There's an insurance person that shops insurance for you with different companies. And they suggested, it was, it was a, a friend of mine. It was a lady. Christine, my friend who worked in insurance, said, hey, you might want to consider getting an umbrella policy. Which so, is in addition boom. to your you, other you know, most people don't actually, you have a guy or a girl. Mm-hmm. or, or a Now guy. I have a guy. They, I had a girl then. You yeah. know, but most people just click online and go, okay, we're covered. Oof. So you're you're advocating that's a, that's a good solid move to make yeah, if you can afford it. very solid. It. Okay, all right, protect all right, you. cool. Seriously. I'm, I'm going to do that. There you there, go. A, I, listen, I, I saw this thing pop. There is a sound ordinance in Florida. Yeah, live downtown. You know, oh, man. bitter Jeff being kept <laughs> yeah. up Stay at off night. My side yeah. like, get off, get like, off my condo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you see the police <laughs> officers with the DB measurements as they're going by your house. It's not their condo. It's just a, it's a, it's the loudness. They don't pull people over for that anymore. No, um, stuck in an elevator over the weekend. Needed fire department to rescue me. Can I see? It's a typo. Can I sue the hotel I was staying at? Is this Jennifer Garner? Uh, what, she gets stuck in an elevator? Yeah, yeah, and lost. She was doing Comic Con because she's in a movie, and she got stuck in the elevator for an hour and a half. She was live streaming it the whole time. It awesome. That's, and that happened to one of our coworkers. Yeah. Thirty, 30 minutes. minutes. Capital yeah. One. Let, let me let me tell you yeah. how you could realize this. Just because something bad happened to you doesn't guarantee you a paycheck. You have to be hurt, people. 
you know, when you're when you're looking at these commercials and TV, and the guy goes, "He got me ten million dollars." You were screwed up. They don't show that the guy doesn't have any legs. Right. <laughs> Okay, well, be Bing. careful with this. Don't don't think that. Oh, look at me! I bad thing happened to me. I won the lottery. This is not what this is about. This is about if you get hurt. You know, you said damages with the elevator. What about when I was a kid in New Smyrna Beach? I got stuck in an elevator and I got so nervous and whatever that I had to do a duty in there. And then when the fire department came, there I it's so me and the duty. You were so embarrassed over the due that you had to get medical treatment. But you were, I, you were not you injured. Talk to a therapist? I did. I should have. I'm talking okay. to you guys so, right so now. You have this, you've carried this doo doo story with you. Yeah, it's been to this anguish. Doo-doo trauma. So, I'm so like, pressed in his subconscious. It's, it's called DDT. I talked trauma. about it before the firemen just it's came PTSD to, and DDT. to save me and they go oh what's that i go what do you think it is i was like eight look at him because you have to explain it to the guy he's smart to represent yeah <laughs> all right um <laughs> look if we don't get to your uh deuces if, if we know. if we right, didn't stop. get to your uh your Why question is humor is so funny I just shoot them over two two five two six and i'll print them out i promise you need a, something answered right away though how, how do you get a hold of jeff jeff at when you need us.com again that is his direct email jeff at when you need us.com pound five four six on your cell or four zero seven five hundred jeff kaufman and lind is the uh the firm they kick ass man yes that's what i've been told jeff yeah. we're glad you're back in one piece hey glad to be back i missed you all right um Lynch and Tacos, commercial free workday rock block coming up at eight. Lynch and Taco. On demand, download the iHeartRadio app.